Hi, my name is Sean Good. I'm a Social Security Disability Attorney with the Good Law Group. Today, I want to talk about appeals. After you've been denied an application, there's many opportunities to appeal your denial. The first one is the reconsideration level. At reconsideration, the Social Security Administration will submit your file to a new adjudicator. And this adjudicator will be a different one than the individual that reviewed your file at the application level. At this time, the adjudicator will look at any new evidence you submit, see if there's been any new diagnosis, any change in your condition, if you've been hospitalized. They also have the opportunity to consult with medical staff to determine if they can change their determination in the past. Most often, if you've been denied an application, you're likely to get denied at reconsideration. After that, you can appeal again. The next step is the administrative law judge level. You'll submit a request for hearing, and you'll go before a judge. This isn't a normal court proceeding. If you ever got a traffic ticket or been divorced or anything that you've ever been to before, likely. This is pretty informal. It's held in a conference room. They're conducted in ODARs or the Office of Disability Adjudication and Reviews. At the hearing, you'll be present with your attorney, the judge will be there, a vocational expert will be there, and a hearing monitor will be there. At the hearing, the judge and your attorney will have an opportunity to ask you questions about why you can't work, what you've done for work in the past, and any questions they have regarding the medical treatment you've received. After you testify, the judge and your attorney will talk to the vocational expert. And this person's job is to testify about the work you've done in the past and based on the limitations the judge gives, if there's any work that he or she thinks you can do. Now unfortunately, most people do not get an answer as to whether they're awarded benefits on the day of hearing. Most judges issue written decisions that take 60 to 90 days from the day you have a hearing to get your decision. If you're denied again, you have another opportunity to appeal. The next appeal is, at, is the Appeals Council. And the Appeals Council is located in Falls Church, Virginia, and you don't have to appear there in person. Your attorney will submit a request for Appeals Council review, and a team of judges will review the decision by the administrative law judge at the hearing. They'll also review any additional medical evidence that you've submitted and your attorney will submit a brief or an argument that's pretty short, a couple pages, explaining why the judge at the hearing level made mistakes. Again, don't be discouraged if you are denied. The chances of winning benefits are best at hearing and actually in federal court. So if you get denied at the Appeals Council, you have another opportunity to appeal. The next appeal is the federal district court. At the Federal District Court, the process becomes adversarial, and you again will not need to appear at this hearing or at this court case or anywhere in the Federal District Court. Your attorney will file a complaint against the Acting Commissioner of Social Security and will then submit a longer brief than the one at the Appeals Council explaining why the Appeals Council and the hearing judge made a mistake or an error, as they say in law. The commissioner will have attorneys represent her. Uh, the current commissioner is Nancy Berryhill. So her staff or her office is the office of the general counsel, and they argue cases before the federal district court and the court of appeals. And they will argue their side. After that, the judge will make his or her decision. And from there, you will get a, what's called a remand, typically, if we win. Um, a remanded case will get sent back to the hearing office for the same judge to hear again. If you're denied at the district court, you have another opportunity to appeal. Now, I'm located in Chicago, in Illinois, and our circuit court is the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. So, if you're denied at the federal district court, you can then climb the ladder to the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals if you're here. There's other circuit courts throughout the country, but I'm just going to talk about the Seventh Circuit. So after you've been denied at federal court, you will file a complaint again at the 
Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, your attorney will again argue against the acting commissioner's attorney, the folks from the Office of the General Counsel, and eventually, if there's merit to the claim, your attorney will go before a panel of typically three judges and argue your case orally. At that time, the judges typically take the case under advisement and they'll issue a written decision shortly thereafter. That's pretty much the highest level most cases go. There's one level above that, and that's the United States Supreme Court. And if my recollection serves me correct, they handle about 80 cases a year, and they get something like 50 to 80,000 petitions to hear cases. So you're unlikely to go to the Supreme Court of the United States. Um, the circuit courts regularly hear Social Security cases. Recently, um, I just won one at our Seventh Circuit. So those are the things I want to discuss with regarding a, to appeal. If you have questions, feel free to contact my office. There's a link below in the comment box. Thank you for your time.